important. This isn't investment or financial advice. Don't invest money you can't afford to lose and always do your own research. What's up guys? Welcome to episode 39. Glad you're here to join us back on this crypto experiment. I've invested $250 in each of these coins to find out which one profits and stakes the most. If you want to find out more, please click in the playlist below. So as per usual, let's have a look at the crypto markets to see how they're doing at the moment. So we're at the BTC dominance of 39.5% and a total crypto market cap of 282 billion. And since last week, we've dropped around, it, last week was about 340 billion. So we dropped around 58 billion, more or less, which is a significant, quite a significant drop and it was very scary and um but i managed to pick up a few cryptocurrencies on the drops because as i always say just pick up any cryptocurrencies if you feel like it's good value so i uh, had a look at some ethereum and more bitcoins as well so they're the only two i sort of uh purchased at the moment but it seems to be recovering very very slightly but it seems to be dipping again so mm, I'm not too sure what will happen perhaps it will drop a little bit more and uh, I'm not too sure where it's gonna hold or it and it, it seems like you're catching a falling knife if you if you will so uh, I would just say just carry on as you're doing or just pick up some uh, cheap coins that's what I'd say um, but you got to remember, uh, these drops perhaps don't affect me as much as they affect you as uh, I, I understand that there's a lot of new people involved in cryptocurrency in the past year. So if you are new, do not worry. I've been through this thousands of times, these dips and uptrends and dips and uptrends. Um, this is normal for cryptocurrency and you better get used to it as well. So this is why I always say only invest what you can afford to lose especially in this market because it's extremely volatile and if you're if you're uh, a bit worried about losing money then perhaps don't invest too much because you're just going to be constantly worried and uh, whatever you do don't carry on checking your portfolio every five seconds as well because um, that's just going to eat you up as well so uh, I'd just say carry on uh, if you can afford it and you're willing to spend some money or invest some money then buy the dips because at the moment I think they're at pretty good prices at the moment so uh, let's see how the next few weeks go along I'm sure I'm pretty sure it will recover back to all-time highs in the next few months as well so here's the badger wallets that we're gonna have a look at here's uh, rain condensate the last episode we actually did was on the 8th of June however we have had zero stakes for rain condensate Let's check out the uh, neon and gas wallet. So we have a 0 0.02 gas that we can claim and we're doing so now. So I'll just leave that to claim. Uh, Renos again, uh, I think it's doing okay. As per usual, these uh, transactions are actually showing incorrectly like usual and they're actually 0 0.9 each. So if we go into one, can show you it's 0 0.9 for one and there's a fair few stakes so it's consistently staking Renos it's not doing too bad being cash we haven't had any stakes since May near end of May for that one uh, neutron we've had one stake here for 5.26 syndicate uh, so since the 8th we've had just two stakes so if I select these two it gives us 7.59 stakes which isn't too bad red coin we've had one stake here and uh, it's for 307.72 black coin we've had uh, two stakes so that gives us a three black coins neos we haven't had any stakes for this one and exclusive coin we've had one two three states that gives us 1.5 exclusive coins so let's move on to the next batch of wallets so here's the next batch of wallets and we have spectacoin we have zero stakes 
Rise, we have no stakes for this one also. 808 wallet, we haven't had any stakes as well since May. That's quite surprising. Usually we have a bunch of good stakes. However, I'm not too sure what's going on with this wallet. Uh, Mint coin, uh, we've had a good few stakes. So uh, let's have a look at some of the transactions. So since the 8th, we've had... So it's, it's staking pretty well, this Mint coin now. Um, once it's all matured and, and uh, you have a sizable amount of mint coins, I, I do believe this stakes pretty well. Uh, as you can see, I've been staking 42, 20, 23. It's quite random at times. Um, I'm not too sure exactly how much we've staked, but I'll do some calculations in the, the end. But what I do like about it is that uh, on the wallet, it actually tells you your total ever minted so 4423.34 which is uh pretty strong i think it's quite nice navcoin we haven't had any stakes for this one however it is um, asking me to download a new version of the wallet which i will do after and uh what else was there so we've got arc hmm. okay so arc we have no stakes for this one and uh, Komodo um, I'm back into syncing this and uh, I'll see what happens if it does sync or not um, but uh, that's everything for these batch of wallets I'm just gonna do some calculations so here's the stakes we received on the 15th of June 2018 we have Redcoin at $1.59 Syndicate at $1.56, Renos at $0.38, cents, Blackcoin at $0.44, cents, Exclusive Coin at $0.86, cents, Gas at $0.78, cents, Neutron at $0.38, cents, and Mint Coin at $0.09. Cents. So here's the Proof of Stake League, and before I go on, I need to, I need to apologize to everyone. I've made a big mistake in this uh, current table. And the mistake is, uh, for red coin, I had the incorrect ticker in there. So I had the ticker R-E-D, which is incorrect. It should have been R-D-D. And uh, that's just my noob mistake. I do apologize, everyone. I have updated this now. So, um, so what you see now before your eyes is the actual correct prices uh, for red coin at the moment. And since I've updated it, it's gone from 10th position to 4th position, straight up there into number 1 position. So, in actual fact, Redcoin is pretty strong. I'd just like to, for everyone to be aware of that. Um, as for the rest of the league, Syndicate, Bean Cash, Condensate are uh, still in top 3 positions. No change from there. However, everything seems to, most things have seemed to gone down because of my mistake and Redcoin is in 4th position. So that's a big jump from 10th to 4th, um, but nothing to report, still pretty good. Um, if we have a look at Redcoin, uh, we can see the daily staking average in terms of uh, uh, dollars. Um, it does bring in around 17 cents per day and your daily coin staking average of around 32.36 coins per day if you were to calculate it by day and a total profit of around $45 and 42 which isn't too bad from a $250 investment originally so uh yep apologies again for this mistake so from now on it should be all updated and reflected accordingly so here's the proof of stake overview as you can see red coin is at number one because of my mistake i apologize again um so it gives us a total difference of uh, $895.50 and that's with our original $250 uh, minus from that. Uh, Bean Cash or Bitbean is in number two with a difference of $470.74. Syndicate at number three with $329.56. So uh, everything else seems to be in deficit at the moment. So. Uh, Due to the Bitcoin price crash, uh, we have a grand total profit of uh, $787.73.
and last week's episode was at around 1019.68 so we've lost around $200 uh, since last week hopefully it will uh, stabilize a bit hopefully fingers crossed with that so um, what to do I would suggest just picking up some a little bit of everything perhaps but definitely do your own research and here's the gas and neo overview so we have a pure profit of $231.89 which has gone down considerably in comparison to last week I can't remember exactly what the figures are last week but it's gone down um, but this is still a good buy at the moment I definitely consider if you haven't got into neo yet get it get it it is really good price at the moment and it stakes without you needing special hardware as well so uh, definitely look into this so I'm going to add a new coin and this new coin is ontology and you've probably heard before ontology currently sits on a neo platform but it will uh, move out of that platform onto its main net launch so it's brand new wallet instead and essentially what ontology is it's a brand new platform that allows businesses with not much blockchain experience but businesses that want to uh, easily integrate into a blockchain territory so ontology provides this platform for mainly for businesses which is quite good i'd say um i'd say this is definitely a medium risk coin six dollars perhaps is still a tiny bit high but it has dropped a little bit today so i am going to pick some up so for six dollars and four cents i'm going to pick up 41.39 out of 250 dollars that i'm investing in you can purchase this on binance um i'll provide a link below if you want to do follow me and purchase some coins and the way ontology is going to be uh staked is very similar to how the neon wallet is going to be staked so you just leave it on um actually i don't think you need to leave it on i think you just hold ontology in its wallet and every day it gives you some ontology gas tokens um i believe that's how it works so uh mainnet launch pretty soon i believe so we'll see what happens with this one and that's everything for episode 39 hit that like button if you liked it and remember to subscribe for more updates and the usual you can tweet me or you can join the discord as well so i'll see you next time enjoy the weekend bye bye